Should we make it a legal requirement that to touch the animations of a firearm in a video game, you have to have touched a firearm in real life? I mean, come on. Look at these. This is a mod for 2007 Stalker. And I'm telling you, <laughs> dude, just he even touches the bipod and moves it around. Modded Stalker, by the way. I uh, also worked on installing the Project Inverno mod, which brought in this beautiful snow-covered landscape that you see here. And uh, I'm on a mission right now to go kill some stalkers on the north side of the zone. But as you can see, we're in a nuclear winter. I've kind of customized the game to cater to that aspect. So the difficulty is pumped all the way to, to hard. It's winter time. I have actually uh, not too much food. I have two food items and then I'm out, so I'm gonna have to cook pretty soon. But running a pretty, other than our armor at least, a pretty lightweight setup. Our armor is what we used in the last episode of Stalker Gamma for raiding the uh, Brain Scorcher, Miracle Machine, I forget which one. There's a Pseudo Giant. And uh, it's worked pretty well at bringing us into the north side of the zone. This is an SR2M, I believe. Let me double check that really quick so I don't misinform you. Yeah, an SR2M Varesk. I don't know what Varesk means. Varesk. It translates to Heather. Uh, but then this is an SVU. This is a Bullpup Dragonov SVD. Okay, he sees me. I'm gonna drop this IED here and run straight backwards. Luckily, we had a fortunate IED, streamer loop. Come on, buddy, keep coming, keep coming. Oh, nope, he turned around. If I can get him to come this way. I forget that sometimes they don't like walking too far from their home spot. Here he comes, come on, bud. Come on. I gotta get away before it explodes, though. There we go, okay, gotta keep running, because he's gonna stomp. So, think about the SR2 there, it actually doesn't do much Pseudo dog. Oh, there's still a dog after me. Oh, is it attacking the pseudo dog? I'm sliding down the hill into the crevice. Nope, jump over. Oh, jeez. Thought that was going to be an anomaly. But we're good. Uh, little fuzzy vision though, because that pseudo dog. I think the pseudo dog is still nearby. Yeah, the SR2M has pretty good armor penetration, but not much damage, so I'm using my cheaper 9mm hollow points to see if I can do something to this thing, but it's still coming. Uh, I'm gonna try the SVU. <laughs> Our mission is to kill bandits, not spooky monsters, but... Oh, did we outrun it? Oh, it must have turned away. Yeah, it turned away. I, I need to... Get the kill at least. A few grenades might do. Where do you go? Behind that bush? Yep, there he is. That should be close. He's behind him. Yep, he's he's stumbling now. That was a little closer, but not good. Come on. Oh jeez. Come on, buddy. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> oh, I love the animation of canting over the rifle like that too. That's just so cool. Point shooting in Stalker Gamma? Who'da, who'da thunk, right? Yeah, that was a spicy boy. He had a lot of stuff. I was getting some visual effects there. I think it was just because of that little anomaly up there. But, uh... Yeah, honestly, did not use too much money in that just because we relied on the Glock with hollow points, but we do need to buy some more hollow points. But yeah, welcome, Stalker Gamma, a modded version uh, based on Stalker Anomaly. Takes out the main story of the games, if you've never heard of this. Basically removes all the main story, adds in a free-to-play survival experience. It's one of my favorite games to play, especially now that I found the Winter Mod. And, uh, you know, as a Texan, I don't get to see much snow, all right? I really don't. So so badly that we would drive all the way to New Mexico to go to a town called Riadosa to go skiing when I was little. And man, it's a 
it's a it's a sad ski mountain compared to the ones you guys got in like Vancouver and stuff. You, you guys are lucky up there. I went to Montana last year and got to ski at uh, Whitefish, I think it's called. That was a beautiful place. It was just glazed with snow like a like a glazed donut. Okay, so we have to assassinate a target up here. The faction uh, doesn't say uh, the faction. Usually down there at that boat, it's bandits. Usually not super high priority or high high damage had high high power bad guys, so we should be all right. Water's radioactive, so I kind of have to do some parkour to get over it there. But got S uh, SN1, got a lot of SN1 ammo. SN1 pins up to level three armor. SN14 pins level four and a half, and this pins level six. We have 18 rounds of the hyper spicy ammo. Which is cool too, you can just change the ammos on the spot in the game. Also that physics animated bipod is sexually attractive in my opinion, I don't know about you. Don't know exactly where they will be. I see silhouettes, yep, I do see, I think that's a head right there, but I have to get closer, I can't see it all. Oh, they see me though. Wow, there, whoa, there's a lot of them, what? There's like seven of them. Right there. I'm gonna move back. See if I can maybe pull them out. I thought it would just be like four guys. No, that was like eight. Sorry if you're watching this at night, by the way. I bet your screen is blinding. If you're in a dark room, this is on like a TV. You definitely have turned the brightness down if you're on your phone. I know you have. I'm aware of these things. I accidentally flashbang you guys when I open the map in Armor 3. Ow! So... I'm aware of the brightness of a bright white scene filled with snow. Can't really do much about it this time, though. Um, wow, they can see me. I cannot see them through this fog. <laughs> How? What? Okay. I don't think the fog affects them. You know, another layer of difficulty, I guess. That's fine. We'll go with it. Maybe we can pull them in by baiting them out like that, though. Get them to come and investigate. Because they do. They do come and investigate eventually. There he is. Oh, they're all behind me. One down. Oh, one's right there. Oh, there's two. <laughs> oh, shit. Reload. Okay, we assassinated the guy we needed to assassinate. There's still some more. There's one through the grass. Oh, nope. Am I missing? Oh no, he's down. Oh, my phone just went off. Clutch is texting me. Clutch, don't you know I'm in the middle of the zone right now? I told you I'd be out for a few days. Hmm. Yeah, they're in the grasses here. Oh, where'd you go, buddy? I don't hear him, but he's here. It's fun, the little firefights you get in this. Whoa! How did you show up there? They're still close. There we go, finished him off. There's still shots up this hill. There were a lot more bandits here than I thought. Where? Where, where, where? You know what where is in... In Russian, oh! He was about to throw a frag. Where in Russian is G'day? So if you wanted to say where's the enemy, you'd say G'day Baratevni. There, oh, oh, he's gone. He's gone. I've been taking too much Russian Duolingo because I happen to be playing on a Russian Daisy server and I have no idea what people are saying when I'm in it. So Duolingo's helped me out at least understand what, what genre of swears I'm getting yelled at in. But uh, some of the some of the best stalker Daisy servers are only Russian. There's no good uh, English ones. So 
you gotta you gotta go to the other side of the pond to have some interesting stalker experiences on Daisy. But nobody speaks English there. It's all like Eastern Europeans and Russian people, so it's pretty rare that you find another God blessed American on those ones. Okay, just a zombie over there. I think that's all of them. I think we're good. I got lucky with this last guy. He's in the water, though, so I'm going to loot him really quick. Because we'll get irradiated. Oh, yep, run. Let's make our way back to the trader. Grab some more hollow point ammo. Actually, where's this quest do? Is it do back in Jupiter? Okay. Ominous roar. Whoa! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, he died. Okay. Whew. That's a fracture. You can hear them, the zombies in this game, and in the base games. Uh, they, they're in like entrapped in their minds. So when they're walking around, if you listen to them and you actually translate what they're saying, they're speaking to their daughters or their wives. And, uh, I, I don't know exactly what they'll say, but they'll say, like, Oh, daughter, you're so beautiful. Things like that. They'll say, uh... It's almost like they're being replayed memories. Some of them are begging for you to kill them. I'm pretty sure. So it's uh, a lot of darkness in a game like this. But the base games had a very, very vivid story. And a very vivid world. I think the, the engine and the time that they released just couldn't really tell that story that well, in my opinion. And that's why I'm really excited for Stalker 2. Just to see the vanilla version of what these devs want to create. And not having to mod my way to an interesting, a more interesting modern day gaming experience will be fun. Because I do enjoy the base games, but also just the open world aspect. Kind of, it's just a big sandbox and I like the, the freedom. Kind of going wherever. Doing whatever I want. It's fun. <laughs> them. I love the copyrighted music that's just totally, definitely licensed for this. Oh, wait, we need to go to Jupiter. I don't even need to be here. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm gonna walk out no of here. Yet. I wanna know where love is. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait. Whoa, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Very pretty winter mod. It's uh, snowing lightly, but I also know that there's rain in the weather system, and I wonder if storms and rain will equal snowstorms? Blizzards, maybe? I don't know. I mean, just, I really want to be running a suppressed setup like this in the middle of a blizzard. I don't think there's anything more the male could want, you know, in, in life. The girlfriend will be sitting in, in bed thinking, oh, he's out with with other girls. He's thinking about the other women right now. No, no, no. We're, we're thinking about running a suppressed Russian piece of shit submachine gun in the middle of a blizzard at night. That's what we want. That's the truth. Why are they playing Crazy Frog? So yeah, now I know like super basic Russian for combat primarily because I can say like Gede Trusia, Levo i Pravo, or Nuzno Lekarstva, which is I need medicine. Yeah, Vizu Vraga. A lot of different things that like they don't make sense when you're saying them, but then in combat it like it works. It's actually very easy to learn combat language and then work with people that are not speaking your language. But then half the time they talk back and then I still don't know what they're saying because they're saying more sophisticated Russian, so I just have to say Yana Govoroyu Poruski, which is confusing to them because I just spoke Russian and then now I'm saying I don't speak Russian. <laughs> Maybe I need to say I don't listen to Russian. I, I don't I don't that that might piss them off though. It has lowered my chances of being killed on site though, I will admit. Dude, the crunchiness of the snow. Oh, that's a controller. Oh. Oh. That was like the THX. Yeah? Bam. <laughs> I can duck, idiot. Hopefully I don't step on a little spicy piece of grass. There's a stash in the red forest here. I want to get this stash, and then I want to go to Lemansk off to the west, 
and kill that target. So, is the red forest red when covered with snow? Find out in this episode of Operator Drewski freaking dies. Okay. If we're fighting anybody, we're going to be fighting Monolith in here. So, loading our slicey, 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 slightly more spicy ammo. Yep, that's Monolith right there. I hit you in the head. I hit you in the head twice. There he goes. Okay, Forrester's in there. He's got his music blasting. He doesn't care about the Monolith right, at, uh, right outside. Maybe the Monolith just respect him. Maybe he paid them off. So they don't worry about Forrester up there. Oh, they're behind me. Oh, I saw you. Dude, I saw you. He's right in front. So it's really cool they were searching the area they last saw me. Wow, holy crap, whatever he had hurt bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Stim back. No. <laughs> we're getting the mega hot taco sauce. Okay. Yeah, because the Sin guys, you can see a little spark that happens on their bodies whenever they get hit like that. And I'm sliding down the slow, the snow here. Um, that is like a... That is a lore thing. They have like a force field around them. You have to penetrate that force field. I forgot exactly how it works, but... Basically, they have armor in the form of like some magic armor. So you gotta pin that and their armor. Whoa, he's right there. Does he not see me? Oh, okay, there they come, there they come. Just gonna frag that. I think I got a second one with that. Just gotta listen very closely. I think I got him. I think he walked right into it. But I don't know, so I'm gonna push up. It was more than just like two guys before. It's gonna be nighttime soon, though. So we're going to have to uh, get a get a little bit more suspicious because with the nighttime. Oh, there's a guy right there. He's not even looking. He's not even looking. I should be able to pop in the back of the head with this medium spicy ammunition. Did you hear me loading? He's down. He's down. Get him. <laughs> Maybe he heard me loading. He turned. He was on us. Uh, but yeah, nighttime usually spawns more mutants. And I have uh, turned up mutant spawns quite a bit for this video because I hate myself. Now, I wanted to simulate a nuclear winter where it's like the monsters, you know, maybe maybe they maybe they're more plentiful because of the cold or something. I don't know. Some some I'm making up my own lore. Gosh, just look at this scene though. It's so pretty. Like this is what 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 year was this base game engine made? What does it look like now? Spooky red forest with blue trees. Those trees are blue. Does cold turn red to blue? Mm. Those are definitely blue trees though. So definitely cats out.
Oh, oh no. <laughs> Game. I'm trying to be sneaky here, alright? Damn, I don't need no Mother Nature farts on top of me. Those will zap you instantly if you stay under them when they go boom, by the way. That's why, that's why I ran. It's a lot of different anomalies in the forest. It's a very dangerous place. If you run too fast, you'll run right into one. I hear the cats getting angry. I think they sensed me. Yeah, they're coming. Holy crap, they're fast. Ow. Ow. Stupid cats, I'm gonna die to cats. I'm gonna die to cats. Ah, I died to cats. Shit. Oh. Okay, I think I heard a pseudo dog out here too. Yeah, I need to get like a Glock full auto. I know that's a thing. I just haven't found one yet. Oh. <laughs> he got slurped up. Okay, if the cats do seem to be coming at me, I'm gonna let them run through these electrics. I'm gonna run back behind these. I should be fine. Okay, that was two cats. Just gonna run. Wow, I almost ran into one. If there's any cats remaining, they should hit this. There were three cats total before. Go ahead and save. The uh, the daddy save mechanic basically stops you from save uh, scumming. I forgot what the actual term is. I don't know what it's called. But it's when you like save before you do something, you know? Before you get into a fight. God, with the Glock. Glock's coming through. I just gotta hit shots and then I can kill things. But, uh... Yeah, it stops you from doing that. <laughs> I thought I heard something! My armor soaked those buckshot. I thought I heard something, dude. I You saw me look around like this? It was because I was hearing those footsteps to my right, but he was circling behind me. KS-23? Dude. He was running that buckshot, so it didn't do anything versus my armor. I am so lucky. Holy jump scare. Still more cats. Still more cats. Wow, that actually made my adrenaline go... to 100%. So the reason I'm not using my SR2M on cats is because the flesh damage of the SR2 is actually not really good. It's pretty low. It's um, it's only a really good gun because of its rate of fire uh, with the ability to pin armor pretty well. That's what makes it pretty effective in Gamma. So it's good versus other stalkers and stuff. Not great versus mutants. The ammo is also pretty expensive and rare. So I want to run the ammo as, as, as uh, little as possible to save it for stalkers. But 9 mil, really cheap and easy. Stuff for the Glock, really, really cheap. Oh, the stash is behind us. Okay, so it's in... I think there's a cave here we have to go through. That's not a good sound. I'm gonna keep running. I don't think it's seen us. Whoa, there's a lot of anomalies here. Running between these two. There should be a cave entrance up here, if I'm not incorrect. Did I go past the cave entrance? I know, it should be farther north. Can I not run up there? Nope. Okay, I gotta go in the center. Just a lot of anomalies I have to walk around here. It is a minefield. Oh hey, there's an there's an artifact glowing over there, pink. I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually no, if it's visible, I should be fine to grab it. 
Shouldn't be too spicy. Should I forget where this cave entrance is? Is it right in the middle of one of those? I think it is. Scar. Ooh, can I get... Oh, it might be gone. That's it up there. It's gonna be gone. Yep, it's gone. It flew off somewhere. It's in some part of the map now. Okay, here's the mine. This is what I wanted. Oh! Okay, I don't think I'm getting through this. I have no clue what that is. Oh, did I just unscrew a suppressor? I did. Go back on. That used to be my, uh... Oh, here's my bolt key. What are you? Oh. Uh, what? The, oh, poltergeist. Okay. Hey, buddy. Uh, can you chill? I'm just trying to do this. I'm just trying to do this. Can you, can you go away? Why is there a poltergeist after me? I'm just... Why, why does he appear? Can you stop making me all blue? Did it go away? I just want to... Okay, uh, yeah, how do I deal with darkness? It sounds very spicy. I think I need to go through this mine, though, so I don't know how to get over there. What the? Oh, he's back! What? Whoa! Flip the stash. We're going to Lemansk. I don't want to go to the stash. I don't want to go to the stash. Not again. No. I heard a cat. Another one. Whew. One pity, two pities. I may need to go to army warehouses just to craft more ammo before I go to Lemansk. I may do that, and to turn in whatever quest that is. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna go to army, so I'm gonna go along this path. We should be fine. We may have to fight the Chimera, but out in the open we should be able to do it just fine. How much ammo we got left? 45 rounds of hollow point. Load the uh, cheaper ammo here. The Chimera jump scare was not fun. The spooky thing is, I think he's over here behind this wall. Or he's... Oh no, he's on this side of the wall. <laughs> You're kidding me, dude. Can a Chimera hit an anomaly? Can I bait him into one of these to damage him? He stays behind the wall. We should be fine to sneak past. He sounds super close. <laughs> he sounds so close. He's right behind the wall. Okay, run. Just run. Run to army warehouses. Go. He's probably chasing now. He might have heard us. Their their aggro range is huge. Just go, 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 go. Out of the red forest. Whoa. It's like a howling wind sound effect, and you can see the snow is very horizontal. Are we entering a blizzard? Is a storm a brewing? I don't know, man. I just know it's gonna be a lot harder to hear things now. The particle effects are pretty light for the volume of wind I'm hearing. Whoa, there are a lot of zombies. There are tons of zombies there. We're in the Freedom Base. Gonna buy and craft some ammo. Maybe we'll probably head out at night. Maybe make some food if we've got some meat on us. I think we do have some cat meat. Flesh meat. Snore cans and... Yes. Oh yeah, you can't really cook cat meat. I, I'm dumb. But uh... Yeah, we got some steaks we can cook up. Hey, Stalkers, 
Bajalawa. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's a new mod, by the way. Being able to climb stuff like that. Yeah, new mod. Pretty cool. Job is done. Cool. Another job is done. Cool. Money. Never dislike money. Короче, в одном из бушки мне сказали, есть клевое место. Клевое. Артефакты вроде бы нычка чья-то. Ну и чего? Kind of makes you think, though. We've never actually seen an official stalker game with snow, if I'm not incorrect. I've played through Clear Sky and Shadow of Chernobyl, and... Um, shoot, I keep thinking Call of Pripyat. Yeah, Call of Pripyat. Um, I haven't played through all of Call of Pripyat, but I'm pretty sure there's no snow scenes in that. Would be cool if we got, like, seasons or if different parts of the campaign brought you to different, you know, eras of the zone, so you got to see... A winter version of the zone. I think that'd kind of be cool. Uh, okay, let's see. I need to buy uh, kerosene. And then need to buy some white vodka for cooking. And I think we should be good after that, right? I don't think we need much more of anything. We need matches. Bad matches. Where are your matches? Matches, yeah. Get tons of matches. Okay, cook up that flesh meat. Oh, wait, can we not cook it with... Uh... Oh, you need two flesh meats for uh, a nice purified flesh bacon. Okay, we'll just get a stewed one then. It's not as good, but it's all right. We need food. Oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't even hear. I didn't even pay attention. That's crows. We need to run. Mother Nature's farting again. These are louder than I remember. In Lemansk now. There's already some gunfire going on. Looks like my guy is to the right. Might be where that gunfire already is. I just need to kill him. That's all. So, we, uh, it may already be done for me by the time I get there. See some lights to the left in that snow. I like the glowing snow particles flying by. That's a weird look. <laughs> they don't glow as bad in the nods, though. Yeah, the white reflective snow. Oh, grenade! Oh, that was super lucky indicator. I think he injured my leg. I, I don't know if I can run without... No, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. I don't know where he is, though. I don't know if he's up top high or what. Oh, okay, he's right there. Oh, there's more. Where'd he go? I... Oh, oh, he's back there. I can't even see him. I don't even see, like, a face in those brush. Where is he? I'm just gonna... Here. I'm gonna taste their own medicine. Throw them a grenade. Did that get you? No, he didn't answer back. You gotta call your hits, buddy. Also, no full auto. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the good thing is, this gun is like a headshot machine. Because it's, uh... It pins... Oh, I need to repair the gun, too. Because it pins up to level 3, most helmets aren't up to level 3. 
especially of like bandits and stuff, so you can go right through gas masks with it and uh, take them out in one quick shot. Are these just all bandits? Oh no, there were loners here too. I see, so they got in a little scuffle right as I came in. Maybe we caught them off guard a little bit there. Alright, let's see, where to now? Can we go back east? How do we get to Red Forest? It's down this way? Okay, yeah, we'll take that to Red Forest. Or maybe... Oh, that goes to Jupiter. That'd be a lot easier. We would just have to go north into the dead city to get there to Jupiter. I haven't done that extract, that little, that, that, that transition gate in a long time, so I don't know exactly where it is, but we can figure it out. We just gotta go back north. There's definitely some, uh, some lights poking down the road. Kind of oddly bouncing off the walls. There's another body here? Another whole body, nice. See if I can repair my gun. Do I have anything? Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, I just have this. I don't know. It's kind of a spooky... I've, I've kind of got an ODST vibe going on. Right now. Like, going through city streets with a little sub gun. little suppressed sub gun. Where's my saxophone? Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take some actual anti-rad. Okay, I'm gonna warm up the fight with a grenade. Oh, he's close. He's very close. Got him in the head. It's Monolith. There were more. Yep, yep, I see him. I wish these were weapon lights. Dead? They're both dead. <gasps> oh. He got back up. Holy crap, he got back up. <laughs> he was faking dead. <laughs> I almost got monolith on. Dude, they're tricky. If they see you're not looking, they sneak up to Oh shit, where? Where do I go? Here? Okay, luckily I'm right at a place. Uh how do I get in? Can I, can I sneak in through a window? Can I? Yes, I'm in. Oh. Okay. I forget that nods don't like the size storm. They really don't like it. All the electricity going around and these cathode ray tube devices, they, oh yeah. It's really glitchy. I'm just gonna check with the scope. We can see any movement. Yeah, there's monolith in the windows. Where do I need to go? I think I just need to go across the river to the right. Yeah. I just need to get down there. Also, wait, what? There's our task not complete back behind us? What's the back behind us? Oh, Psy Storm. Find shelter. Okay, just in case the monolith do see us, I'm going to load spicy bullets. Because I have a feeling that they're going to see us across this gap. Whoa, the lighting is stuck bright. This is weird. Yeah, because if I engage those guys... Oh gosh, there's so many. There's so many monolith across the river. That's terrifying. There's got to be like 50 of them in there too. I pray that they don't see me. I also pray that this isn't a dead end. Yeah. Okay. The entrance is right over here. Crouching has worked so far. There's a rad sign right there. I don't really care. Okay, I'm gonna sprint the rest of it. Go, 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 go! Woo! Into Jupiter. Come on, take me to Jupiter. 
Where's the entrance? Yes, to Jupiter. Why was that a yes or no? Usually just a fade out. Why did it give me the question that time? Well, we're in Jupiter now. And, uh... Heading for the train yard where I've got my stash of gear and ammunition equipment so I can craft ourselves some more ammo. Also, this thing is really fun to listen to. It's got a really nice Doppler effect that's tied to it. So it just hums past you. <laughs> what a weird game, but what a cool game. I love the dynamic lighting too on these trees as it flies by. Now imagine that, but with an actual modern engine. I just want to see one of those doing the same exact thing in Stalker 2. It's just so cool. It looks so pretty. Reflecting off the gun and everything. Like, gosh, that looks good. I really like this game though. Like, I don't want to compare it to like multiplayer games or anything because it's definitely a single player game. But it's nice to have like a you know, your own progression experience that you can do at your own pace. And that's what's nice about single player. You're not really racing anybody else. So if you don't have a lot, of, a lot of time to play video games, or it's like you can't play a lot of video games at the wipe of a of like a game like Escape from Tarkov or, or Hunt Showdown or whatever, you, do, you know, timely updates and things like that. If you just don't have time to be there, then single player experiences like this are a very kind of similar setup, but you don't have to be as timely with it. You can kind of just play whenever, jump in whenever. Progress whenever. Which is nice. I've got a step deagle I could probably upgrade. That apparently is compatible with the L can. What? Hold up. Wait a minute. What? No. 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 Why? Why does it have an L can on it? <laughs> you can't put an L can on a deagle. I mean, you can. And it sounds great. But that's still disgusting, okay? Deagle with no L can? Yankee with no brim? Flip it, dude. I'm gonna upgrade the deagle. We're not putting the scope on it, though. We're detached. That's a little bit debaucherous. Got 122 rounds of 357 hollow point. 357 in the game is nutty, by the way. It does 103 damage, which is uh, 40 more than our Mosin rounds do, right? <laughs> so, against mutants, this thing is the absolute best choice. There is... I, I don't know if there's a pistol that shoots anything bigger. I don't think 50 AE is a thing in this game. But, uh... We're gonna head over to, uh, ooh, that's something, that's a bloodsucker, right there. Okay, he knows we're here. Oh, shoot, bad timing. It might kill him behind us. Jeez. Oh, he's down there. Okay, I hit you again. Come on. Yeah, he's coming. Whoa, he's got glowing red eyes. I want to get that bloodsucker. I'll try an IED. I'll put down the, um, the RPG warhead IED and see how that works. I'm going to go ahead. Place the ID here. Backing away. Oh, he's off to the right. Okay. There we go. Okay. Come on, buddy. Beeline it. There you go. What? Where'd he go? Oh, there he, okay. Oh, 
Oh, oh God. <laughs> well, the IED got him. It also got me. Yeah, he's a big old boy. Look at that. Body has nothing useful. Of course it doesn't. <laughs> oh, that. I bet my armor is smacked up a little bit too. Uh, yeah, it took 2% off. Damn it, dude. Stupid game. Why do I play this game? Why do I play this stupid game? I'm getting scared for nothing. I got nothing out of that fight. Oh. Hello. He doesn't even know that I'm here. He's chilling. Look at him. He's like digging in the ground. He's so cute. He's kind of cute, honestly. I drink a coffee, so I'm sanic fast here. What do you think his acro radius is? It's not this. You do good, little bomb. 